and the husband and when he came out he made the legal team and he told them that okay if you want to employ my services this is so 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 and so amount i will be needing to to go forward with the job and he spelled out in details what and what and i'll be reading everything out so that it will be cleared that it was not coming from you, Muiwa. It was the lawyer that said this and this is what I want. And Muiwa saw that that was too expensive. And he said, Oh, we'll not be, uh, we will not, we cannot afford this. You know, nobody, there was no point in time that the husband was asked to pay three million. There was no point in time that the husband was asked to pay three million. I repeat, there was no point in time that the husband was uh, was asked to pay three million. Anybody that have said that, that's a lie from the pit of hell. I'm going to come out expressively today, and I will show everybody so that we know the truth. The Bible says, "You shall know the truth. The truth shall set us free." The truth shall set you free. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, panelists. Your daddy, <laughs> this man today is, is something else. <laughs> Your daddy, don't kill us today with the love, oh, please. May the be in the building. Thank you for coming out. <laughs> Thank you for everything you have done for me. <laughs> this is bad. Yeah, we need it sometimes. We need it sometimes. It's not every day that we have to be serious. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you, thank you, thank you. God bless you. <laughs> uh, yeah. The family of Aloba have rejected the results of the toxicology and autopsy. They are going there to raise a different motion. One, the motion is that a fresh autopsy should be conducted by their own rules. Two, different autopsy should be conducted. The state and the family of the Aloba should do two different things. They will bring it together and match it. One. Number two, that the people that have been, uh, uh, that have been uh, stated to be witnesses to the death of Mobad should come back to the inquest. 13 to 11 people names have been requested to come. Uh, that includes Wumi, Darusha, Adura, uh, the, uh, um, the Prado Jeep, the pol the, of the, pol the hospital, and also that Amubat House should be uh, investigated by the Babas Legal Team to ascertain some certain things. And that is the application which they are going to be fighting today. And also the last one is also to make sure the inquest is held like maybe three or four times in a month instead of the once in a month. And those are the few things the legal team are going to be ironing out today. So uh, the information right now is that this uh, Bankole and Smith are still fighting to be part of this inquest. The magistrate is making it difficult for them. So they are fighting that application as, as we speak right now. That's fine. Thank you, Bayo. So, Lady B, do you want to say anything to that? What do you want to talk about? What do you, what are your thoughts based on what he said? Oh, hello. Sorry, I'm on the phone. I just, I was on the phone. I couldn't get what Bayo was saying. Sorry about that. I was on the okay. line. That's fine. So, you, yeah. Okay, he was just giving a recap of okay. what they're going to be asking in the inquest. Well, by what okay. you said is a handful. I'm sorry. I'm, I'll have to apologize one more time. If you can just say one, two, three, four, just so that, you know, everyone can get again. I really apologize. Thank you, Bayer. Yeah, I, I, I was just saying that uh, as, far, as far as the legal team are concerned, the three things they are doing today is to, number one, to establish that the autopsy result is not acceptable and they do not want to have anything to do with that result. So the magistrate will have to uh, authorize uh, a fresh one because the Corona law has given the magistrate the power to, ex to exhibit every power and to use every power of the inquest to 
to make sure the cost of debt is uh, ascertained. So, so cost of debt has not been ascertained at this time. So they are going to be uh, praying to the magistrate to authorize a fresh uh, in, uh, uh, toxicology, and also that the team are also fighting that the the people that are witnesses uh, in the in the death of Mubad should be brought back in lieu of new evidences. Uh, part of the evidences that has come to light is the fact that there was a severe an argument fight that possibly could have resulted to the death of Mubad. Also that there is also the paternity has also come to take a play in the fight uh, the night before the, the guy died. So those two uh, evidences needs to be addressed and it's only Wumi and Adura which our names have been mentioned needs to come back and uh, address those uh, uh, those uh, uh, topic. So they are trying to bring them back. So and it could include about nine or more people that needs to come back. The Prado Jeep, the police officer that made the investigation, ASP Muhammad Yusuf, is also being invited to come back. So this application has been submitted as early as May. The judge has not approved that prayer. We don't know why. But they're going to be fighting that the judge, the magistrate, approved that prayer today. And also that the inquest should sit more often than once in a month. And that is that for now. And also that the barristers, Smith and Bankole, are also fighting that the application to be part of the corona inquest should be approved, which the magistrate is not trying to approve that. So I know that if the magistrate does not approve that, they might have to take it to a higher court, which is above the the corona court. So I mean, for now, this is what they are still fighting at this time. Okay, thank you, Bayo. Lady B, do you, have you got it now? If you don't, maybe you can uh, let you somebody else. Yeah, 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 yes, I've got it. I think the main thing, everybody, most of the people really want the um um the legal team to work on is to to for for us to grant. For them to grant us um, to do the private autopsy and toxicology, which um, I'm, I was reading it now that they say you could posted it. I think that one is the main thing. They will be able to work towards that if they could grant Baban so that we can do our own. Then me for the all this um, inquest, rather than like Bio said, like, rather than every once in a month, at least even if it's just once in a week every week once in a day you know once in a week that that would be great because they are just dragging it dragging it it's almost one year you know so i think if the legal team can work towards that and if they grant us that would be a great thing then yeah and those three boys me i'm seeing since anywhere i go i really i always specific those guys that are not mubadi state they really need to drag those boys to inquest they have a lot to say because definitely they did not have, they did not do that video on on Tuesday. That was Monday because the same trouser, the same boxer shorts, the world on Monday is still have it on. So it can't be Tuesday. So if they could drag those three boys, especially the one that did the video saying mobile is spy, mobile is spy, me, I'm I'm very I'm very specific on those those boys to be to for them to come to inquest. You know, we are getting there. We are getting there. We see the outcome today from the inquest. Hopefully, we have good news. As long as they said they granted the um, toxic private toxicology and autopsy, that would be a great thing if they granted them today. Yeah, let's see. Hopefully, Baba will come and give us the um, update after the inquest. Yeah, for now, that's all I have to say. It's giving me joy now that as long as everything goes well, with Baba, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. It's, that's that's some good news. I mean, but you know, mm. for me, apart from that, I appreciate the private autopsy, but I also think that they also need to grant those people coming back to the house. You know, because I'm sorry, I'm not trying to sound negative, but that body has been kept with them for a long time. But I know that down them granting that, we will still find out the cost of death. But also, they still need to nail those people in the house. And very good point, what you mentioned about those boys being in the car. That's really, really good. Yeah. So, okay, I'll yeah. pass it to Yeti Babe now. Ma, do you want to say anything? Yes. Um. Good morning, everybody. Um, sorry. Oh, Can I say this? Can I say this before Yeti Babe? Okay, Reports with me now from uh, 
the flying bear that I have, Kutono. There's a whole lot of drama happening in the Corona inquest. A whole lot of drama happening in Corona inquest. I will come back and give you the update. But drama is going on now. When I come back, when the when the like is hundred k, then I will share it. <laughs> well, I'm serious this time around. Seriously, serious. It's not inconclusive update. It's not. It's not. It's not. Poli uh, it's not vigilante rescue police from kidnapper. I, I. I'm serious. I swear. But there's a drama going on. I'm serious. Hey. Why not they laugh now? This conversation. Why not? <laughs> I take, oh yeah, I take the like to hundred k. Then you, I'm, te I'm telling you, I'll tell you seriously, seriously. Just take the like to hundred k. It's not, it's not like that or that one. This one is, is serious. Drama. Okay, Yeti babe, you wanna carry? Uh, go on, please. Thank okay. You. Um, good morning, everybody, once again. Um, thank you, Honorable York, for giving me the opportunity to speak. I guess you're on the phone now, getting more updates for us and um, all the other speakers and everybody in the comment section that is for justice for Mobad. I greet you. Um, I'm particularly happy today that um, this inquest is holding because um, I know that a lot of things will happen. When I heard this morning that uh, Mama Mobad will meet with the baby and everybody is in court, I know that they know a lot will happen today. And that's why they had to come and witness it, and which is a good thing. I believe their lawyers have advised them to show up so that everybody will know that they, uh, at least people will think that they want justice. Now, latest updates on uh, Yeyekudi's um Facebook platform says that even the witnesses have been the recall of witnesses, uh, including Naramali, Samnari, and all those people have been granted. Also, she updated that um, the toxicology request has been granted, which uh, it's a good, very good news um, that we are getting from this. Um, can I, sorry, can I interject to you a bit before you continue, okay. so that these people will not go and go on this family and pay? Until they reach 100k before I say it. Ah, uh, right about now. <laughs> right about now, the, the drama in court is uh, about Sedi Alamala, Iyan Mobad, and uh, uh, Wumi. They are, they are aggressively demanding that Mobad should be buried. That's the update. They didn't come for any justice. They come for barrier. <laughs> I, I say so initially. I know they are up to something. Hmm. They're on their own. I hope they get it. Hello. Um, uh, good afternoon, Azuko. Good afternoon, panelists. Uh, I'm sure we... Said, you changed uh, your, your focus. No, this, so I didn't is the, this, is the, this is the barista break at the Gaza Kingdom. Okay, okay. Mm, okay I'm, uh, and to my learned fellow, the snitch, aka legal team, <laughs> all together. Um, the, we've had the good news that our private autopsy has been granted by the judge and private toxicology. The, the judge have um, approved that and um, says that Alaba's family will be responsible for the fee for this. Um, for this Some private good news some good news. We are ready to be responsible. So this is one out of the three. We are waiting for the rest. DNA is still going to be approved. Everything will be all done today. No play. Good news. We are going to celebrate. Don't play. They're going to learn. We are going to now know the cost of death, time of death, date of death. Everything will be reviewed. So please, again, legal team is not working. Underground, underground, underground. Okay, Luma, what I just see like Bolo from Gubua. Hey, Joe. Team, team. That's it. Only a daddy, you want. Don't you want more? God, don't say. I want to die, Guru. Don't so wrong narrative. I'm a quarter daddy, Jean, Gubua, my Joshi Pacconi. We'll get this justice together by the grace of God. You know, Amen. so Amen. that is good news. Amen. And it's still going on. Um, okay. Press conference will be loud today. In fact, there's DJ there. After that, they will start playing a bad song. People will carry their body. Dance, victory dance. Make the good plan again. 
Jim Mubadi Bay. They should go and kidnap Mubadi where he is now. And uh, um, please, if you have access to Baba, please, if all those people are showcasing their drama, please, you people should just keep have, Baba at bay to we them. Giving, we have given Baba the UK orientation. When okay. they come to attack Baba, Baba should just walk away. And that be, that, that attack, does it. Attack. Yeah. Meanwhile, I want King Wat at the Koniba, John Andrews and Gu convert Dawala Lebo. A little far more by police, yeah, shoot at sight in any. You know, for the presidential order, shoot at sight. You know, now on a barista order, Liguti Moda. I'm a weary. Oh, come on, this body. Okay, thank you, thank you, Berkete. Okay, Yati, baby, you were saying something. I don't want to look like we interrupted you, but he had to give an update. Thank you, um, Barista Berkete. Thank you for all you do. Thank you for standing firm at the uh, London um, protest. You did the great thing there, and I'm happy how it all turned out because you made all the points. I I heard you when you were speaking to the ambassador. Thank you so much. Thank you everyone that supported the UK um, protest that appeared. <laughs> Um, you represented us well. Definitely, you represented us well. Uh, and all the people in the U.S. also that made it to Pennsylvania were happy. Okay, so let me go back to today's inquest. Today's inquest is something that is going to change the course of this um, justice movement. It's going to change the whole case. And that's why some people are creating drama right now, because they know that time is up for them. By the time all these powers are given to Baba Mubad, to go and um, do his own toxicology. Nobody has ever said that the, the funding was a problem. Just give us the right to do it, and we'll do it. And then and the, the witnesses are being called back. That's the greatest part of it, because I heard when um, the snitch was listing, which is uh, Uncle Bayo, was listing all the people that are likely to be coming back to the witness box. I mean, by the time those people are... Can I interject Sorry, mommy, can I interject you? Okay, no, 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 I will be explaining in details what transpired uh, at Abatua police station uh, where Ayaminka was kept. Uh, I will be going in details what happened outside the police station, how she was granted bail, what and what was being done by the legal team of Baba Mubad, and how much that was paid from day one to the last day that she was released, who facilitated it, who and who, what played out, what what happened, who did they talk to, the blah, 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 blah. I'm going to say everything, and I'm going to mention names. Sorry, you know I don't mention them before, but I'm going to say everything, I'm going to mention them, because Bible says, and you all shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Uh, only the truth that will set us free. This is justice from Mubad. Uh, any narrative that anybody is like, it should paint after, uh, we, I don't really care, but the truth must be out. People must know the truth, and uh, the truth will set people free. People must know what and what happened, you know. There is no how you can be a judge in your own case. There is no how you be behind, uh, be, be you be incapacitated and you know what played out. Uh, the first barista that was contacted, the second, the second two barista that was contacted, um, and, and how she came out. I'm going to be going to details uh, today. Uh, please. Anybody, uh, my, my moderators, please, if you hear any commenters that type, leave Ayamienka, please block the person. Because I'm saying that I'm setting the record straight. I'm not saying I'm dragging Ayamienka. Any, any, any commenters or no, please, anyone that says leave Ayamienka, please block. When I start it, anybody that. Hey, better. Hey, honorable, please. Yes, I yes. Big, 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 big. <laughs> 
press release that they, they gave on on Friday on um, on the seventeenth. If you will permit me, let me quickly read it out. Uh, let me quickly read it out. Some of the things that they listed that they actually wanted um, from the government. Uh, okay, yeah, I get it. Yeah, let me quickly open the the file so I can read it out. I'm not gonna read the full um full document, but I'm just going to read out the stand and the position of the Aloba family, as um you know stated by the the legal team uh, of Mr. Aloba. Number one is uh, uh pardon me, just uh. Okay, now, number one is independent re-examination. Uh, they said, in light of this development, the Aloba family is compelled to denounce the inconclusive test result and put forth the following demands and, um, you know, position. I read it on um, Lady 20 Paper in Peace platform. And uh, the reason why I want to read it also is because, <laughs> Mr. Lady, is because um, today's uh, approval goes, this goes a long way. So I'm just going to go ahead. Independent re-examination. We call for an independent re-examination uh, of the toxicology samples by a reputable and internationally recognized forensic laboratory. The re-examination should be conducted with the utmost transparency and adherence to high standard of forensic science. Um, number two, comprehensive review of the procedure. A thorough um, review of the procedures and protocol followed during the initial toxicology testing is imperative. This review should include an assessment of the chain of custody, handling and analysis of the sample to ensure that no procedural lapses or contamination occurred. Collaboration with international experts, we urge the, in, the involvement of independent international forensic experts to oversee and um, validate the re-examination process. Their re participation will help uh, restore confidence in the finding and ensure that all possible avenues are explored. Full disclosure of the Alaba family demand full disclosure of all findings and reports related to the toxicology test. Transparency is crucial to understanding the cause of death and uh, dispelling any doubt and um, uh, uh, doubt and suspicions. Um, number five, swift and decisive action. Time is of utmost essence in this matter. We call upon the relevant authorities to expedite the re-examination re process and ensure that the that the family receives definitive answer um, without undue delay. And this is actually a good one to, to uh, coming out from the legal team, uh, San Shitu, uh, Wahab Shitu San and um, uh, Barrister Odumos, which was also present at the, the peaceful walk, which was held in um, London. Uh, uh, it, it, it's a good one. Thank you to, to them. And um, from here, from this approval that we just got from the from the corona, uh, I believe these things that they listed here, they are not just going to carry out the toxicology test, they will also reevaluate and re examine the one that they claim they have done before that the government said they have done the whole, they're going to check the procedures, do they handle the samples very well, the samples that they use, where is it, is it truly mobile sample, um, what, is, what happened to the sample, is it, it, was it handled very well, all of those things. So it, it's a good one, we have a, a very long way to go, but we, we, this, is, this is like a, a part three of, uh, of the justice, justice for mobile. So the sample, everything that has to do with the sample, everything, the handling, the, the procedures that they took, the protocol that they follow, was it the best that they, is that, what did they actually undo the sample very well. So the, the pathologist, which is coming from our own side, and um, just like um, it was stated here, it's not just going to be a Nigerian thing anymore. It's going to be an international thing. The samples are going to be taken by we, the justice fighter, to an international laboratory that is going to carry it out with you know with the help of the local you know laboratory and everything so we should we should um give kudos to those who are behind all of this 
We should give kudos to those who are behind all of this. And after the Corona inquest, now we can see that there is a press conference that is um, ready to, to in, in, in probably in some couple of minutes, we can see the media there. And um, that, that's the reason why I always say, I believe in the progress. Um, if somebody is talking about downfall, you be talking about the upward. If somebody is talking about down, 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 just be talking about up, up, up. If somebody is trying to bring you down, just try to take yourself up. The, there is a focus, there is an agenda. The agenda is get just for more bad. So definitely distraction is going to come. So this is a big one. Bossman, thank you. Team Lagata, thank you. Mr. Gregzi, wonderful, wonderful you. Thank you so much. Um, to every other person, thank you for bringing this into a landline. The press conference is long overdue, but you know, it is better late than never. We are having it now. It's a good time. It's a good time. So many, so many things that um, we have been waiting for. If we are doing it now, um, it's not too bad. So I want to appreciate everybody. I could see um, some of the legal team, um, some of our barristers, and um, present there. And um, for those that went there, that Mubad should be buried. Well, they have their reasons why they said Mubad should be buried. But uh, when they weigh the the I love the, the Baba Mubad reason and they weigh their reason, I think they they, they gave it to Baba Mubad that. See, for now, go and do whatever it is that you want to do. For those that want the body to be buried, um, we are sorry, we cannot grant that particular permission. But you ask yourself one public, one, one, one sincere question: Why is there? Why are there so much in the to have Mubad buried? I have absolutely nothing against anybody. But the question is: Whatever it is that I do, there must be a reason behind it. Whatever it is that you do, there must be a reason behind it. Um, somebody will say, um, um, he's dead, let him go and rest, this and this, this and that. Well, he's dead. But the truth of the matter is this, that um, it's just the body that is dead. We are all carcass. We are all carcass. The only thing that differentiates us from the, from the bread or from this thing is just the breath. If the breath is no longer there, that's, we are just carcass, just remaining carcass. So it's a good one, positive one for the justice for mobile thing. Um, Thank you to everybody. Just like I said, um, Bossman, thank you. Thank you so much for this. Um, Tim Lagata, um, thank you. Uh, thank you so much. Mr. Gregzi, um, thank you. And to every other person present and those that, you know, that are behind the camera, you know, this thing takes a whole lot of money. You understand? It takes a whole lot of money. You pay the media, the punch newspaper and all of those things. I can see... Uh, see I am sure they did not take the money from GoFundMe or something. There are people that are behind it. Thank you to everybody. Thank you so much. I really appreciate as an individual and as, a, as a, a small member of this wonderful family. Thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Mr. Lady, I already I, I replied to the message. Thank you. Back to you, uh, Honorable Yorkani. Thank you. Thank you so much.